Hello tech friends, today a Steam Deck. Is it weird? Yeah. Is it old? No, this one's pretty much brand new. I mean it took me about a year to get hold of it, um, but uh, they've had a few problems getting them in the hands of people who want them. So it's obviously got all your Steam games on here. That's great, but I think we can probably do something a little weirder with it than just play your regular Steam games. Um, just firstly to say about the device, it's pretty nice. Uh, you know, you've got your dual trackpads here which can act as a mouse and the amount of customizability of the controls is pretty phenomenal um but let's see what i've done with this apart from playing your regular steam games um firstly let's look to the future cloud gaming xbox game pass let's fire that up so this is essentially is a shortcut just to the microsoft edge browser and look at this i can play any of my Xbox Game Pass games and so the Game Pass is what £10 a month something like that and uh, you can just jump into these games easy peasy I kind of really feel like this is the future of gaming you're kind of just paying a monthly subscription and you're getting um, in Microsoft's case all the latest games you know um, as long as the company has got an arrangement with Microsoft uh, there's always something to play it means you'd end up playing things you would never normally think about playing I'd say um, and the performance is pretty impressive. The Wi-Fi in this thing is pretty much top-notch. So here we go. So I've got all my Steam games, and I've also got uh, I've got all my Xbox games as well. It's pretty pretty crazy. So I'm just gonna exit that because that lots of people have done videos about that sort of thing. So I'll just back out of there, and of course we've installed DOS on it. That's just what we do, isn't it? And we'll just play this. And boom, look at that. We've got the command prompt. I think that is pretty cool to have it running on such a device. So I'll put links in the description for how you can actually pull this off. But suffice to say that it works very well with mouse-based things. But of course, if you need the keyboard, well, for Steam overall, if you hold down the Steam uh, and the X button, you bring up the keyboard. Well, that's my special theme I've got on here. And you can type anything you like in here. Um, and you can use a touch screen. So if I just type in DIR and hit enter, yeah, sure. I mean, that works. Um, but they've got this other way of inputting stuff. By using these trackpads, you're kind of like using two fingers. Look, if I just move that on the left hand side or move this on the right hand side, I can type things in. So if I type in C L s and hit enter blanks the screen of course every time i hit enter the key will disappear so that isn't that isn't perfect um but let's uh let's just load up windows and see what that looks like on here here it is i mean i just think that's very cool uh so the mouse works in here and everything you have to change a few of the settings i'll just quickly show you this if i go over to view game details and over to this little icon here for the controller. You can choose like whatever you want. If I want to edit the layout of all of these buttons and use different templates and things for different things. So I find that this one here, keyboard and mouse uh, is a sort of generic template, but you can really drill down to very specific things. So perfect for Windows. Uh, I can just load up Solitaire. Here it is. What life wouldn't be enhanced by spending some time playing a bit of solitaire uh, on your Steam Deck. I'm, I can imagine being on the bus playing this and people are looking over, looking at this device with envious eyes and then they see I'm playing this and think, what on earth is this guy up to? Um, so obviously I won't play through the whole game because as we know, I'm terrible at it. But that is essentially Windows 3.1 in DOS, uh, on, well, on DOSBox, but on the uh, on the Steam Deck, very useful. Um, people have done lots of different tutorials about uh, getting DOSBox to run and then actually, um, you know, getting launchers for individual games. And if you want to play games seriously on here, that is what you're going to have to do because typing things into the keyboard, it doesn't stay up. There might be an option to make, to make it stay up, but then you can't really see the screen. The other thing to note about the Steam Deck is through the USB... Uh, port there you can connect to a dock which means you can connect to a screen and a keyboard and proper stuff like that and if I just show you 
uh, if I hold down the, oh yeah. If I press the steam button and go down to power and switch to desktop, you'll see that it is actually just a regular Linux desktop, which, you know, what a feature. Pretty cool. People have installed Windows on this. That's rubbish. Don't bother doing that. Um, apart from Windows 3.1, of course, which is clearly the best version. So there you go. Steam Deck showing you the future of gaming and kind of the past of gaming and a little bit of in between. Thanks for watching.